Hey everybody, it's time for more stories with Macy and friends. I've been gone for a couple days and my friends took over for me, but I am back. Today's story is Robert, Kyle's used-to-be friend. Kyle came into the house and tossed his jacket on a chair. He sighed. He thought about his friend Robert. Make that his used-to-be friend. Robert had just told him, Go home and don't come back. Mom came into the kitchen, wiping her hands on a towel. You don't look very happy. Something go wrong? Kyle paused for a moment before answering. Robert and I got into an argument. He doesn't want me for a friend anymore. Well, that's too bad, Mom said. You and Robert have been friends a long time. What happened? We were in Robert's yard, getting ready to play ball. I wanted Lee on our team, and Robert wanted Mike. He never wants Lee to do anything with us, and I feel sorry for Lee. He's not great at catching, but he can bat pretty well. He just needs to practice. Lee doesn't have many friends because he just moved here a few weeks ago. Well, did you explain this to Robert, Mom asked? I tried to, but he wouldn't listen. Every time I started to say something, he just walked away. So I followed him, and we got into a big fight. That's when he told me to go home. So that's what I did. Mom sighed. Things often have a way of getting out of hand. It could be you both just need time to cool down. Maybe you can go over and talk to him after dinner. Kyle shook his head. Why should I make the first move? Robert was the one who told me to go home. Kyle decided he should start his homework, but he had a hard time concentrating. He kept thinking of things he could have said to Robert. Don't come over to my house either. I don't want you there. No, I really don't want that. I think I need to pray that Jesus will help me figure out what to do, he thought to himself. He shut his history book and knelt beside his bed. After dinner, he glanced over at Robert's yard. No one was outside. This was usually the time when he and Robert would hang out. They often did their homework together, played catch, or talked about their day. He missed his friend. Kyle had asked Robert to go to church with him several times, but Robert always had an excuse not to go. Sometimes he wanted to sleep in, or sometimes he was going to visit family. Maybe now would be a good time to show him that Christians don't stop liking someone just because they have a little disagreement. Maybe Mom is right, he thought. I don't have to quote Bible verses to her or anything like that. Just show him the way Christians handle problems. That it's better to do that and just apologize. What do you guys think Kyle will do? Or what do you think you should do? Come back tomorrow and we'll find the answer. Until then, love you, take care, and be safe.